Hello everybody that are now listening to Flow. I am back with another tutorial, and today I will teach you how to get notice for 1.7.2. Now I will have the links in the descriptions, but to get notice you click on you the links in the description and click on download. It will show this, but don't click on anything, just click save. Will take a while. Now, when you open your folder, you want to drag Notice onto the desktop. Now, I already have Notice, so I'll have to say replace file destination. But that's basically how you start it off. And that's an old. Thing. You want to extract your files. Up, oh, clicked on the wrong thing. Now, when you click extract files here, yes, yes, you got notice.jar and the notice.json. You don't need the catalog. I deleted it when I first made it. Now, when you make your new folder, click new and then folder. Notice. You can name it Notice just like this. Now you drag your jar and your JSON into your Notice folder. And that's basically what you do. Now you need to go to your percent, percent app data percent folder. That's roaming. You click on your Minecraft.minecraft .minecraft folder versions and then you just drag your notice folder into here I already have it installed so I don't need these now in the end you open your f minecraft folder your minecraft and for me what I would do was I would make a new profile notice enable uh, enable experimental development versions snapshots and then you should see snapshot notice remember to click snapshot notice then you click save file I already have notice so I already have this so I don't need to and then you just click play now notice is really really cool and you should be able to see this so now I'm in this normal world and you could rearrange this and it's really cool I don't you, this is basically links you don't want to buy it uh, you don't want to go to it this is a map radar you could also change it there would be players and how far they are away so I'll keep that down there no fall is no fall damage the dirt mod is cool uh, for one, because it you can't see yourself like doesn't show my head going in a bajillion directions. But that's basically what it is, and you could just walk, and it looks like that. Nuke is probably one of my favorite features besides the flying. It basically highlights the blocks that you delete. And I went, I went nuke crazy, as you can see. I even made my own uh, little tunnel right here. And I like how fast you go with notice. And with flying, you want to be careful because if you don't have no fall on and you're high in the air, you could basically... Um, you could basically fall and die. Sprint automatically starts you up. You sprint. You don't even have to double click. It does it for you. Spider makes you like. Basically you could click shift. And stay in the same place in the air. Or you could climb up objects. Without there being a ladder. Uh, the rest of them are interesting. Full bright. I click F for that. R is fly. 
X-Ray. Now the X-Ray with notice is especially cool because you get to edit what you want to be in it. So let's say I wanted this is not a good world to show this world. Let's say I wanted all of this stuff to be in my X-Ray. I'd basically see the entire ground when I clicked it. Like that, see? The only problem is that I can't edit it for sandstone. But say I wanted to place down a bajillion of these. It would take me forever to look, see? Way easier to click build. It just builds it up for you. You could basically build a house. Now look at the x-ray. The normal x-ray doesn't let you look at anything. But when you click on the stone, it's the only thing you can see besides the mobs. And yes, the flag goes faster than the regular version. And uh, yeah, you guys could check out the rest of the controls by yourself, but those were the ones that I found most interesting. And yeah, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.